we've been in Naples the whole week and haven't taken the camera out of the bag once. We've been having an amazing time in Naples and did manage to capture a couple things on our iPhones like this. Yeah, you know. Every place is a little bit different, but they're always delicious. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Let's check this place out. Wow, Naples is really becoming my favorite city that we've been to in Italy. We're just walking around. We were actually going to the grocery store. We're like, hey, let's see what's in there. It turned out to be the tomb of St. Joseph Moscati. Wow, we just stumble on stuff like this all over Naples. It is incredible. Street food. They weren't ready. We'll come back another day. So we'll try this place. Oh, wow. I was just telling Chris that I need to start eating less sweets. And then my supportive husband pointed to this and said, hey, look. Mr. Cinnamon, first Italian homemade cinnamon roll. In you go. That is a very good cinnamon roll. It has lots and lots of vanilla in it. That's good. Ooh, and butter. Naples original. Coffee. That was a really good cinnamon roll. cinnamon roll, but I really need to start eating less sugar. I will do my best to not go, oh honey, look, cinnamon rolls. I, I, I'll try, I will really try not to do that. And sodas and m &Ms. And, and stop buying you peanut m ms because they make you smile. <laughs> I will stop. Bye. I'll try. Let me show you the second place we're staying in Naples. These doors can hold back a zombie apocalypse. And it sounds like one's coming. The apartment is through these giant doors up this spectacular marble staircase. The room is small, but the view off the balcony is amazing. Napoli is one of the oldest cities in the world. This area has been inhabited for over 4,000 years. Back in the Stone Ages, people were living here already. This castle's not that old, but it's pretty cool. I did not expect to like Naples as much as I have, and this is rapidly becoming my favorite city we've been to in Italy. It shows that it is such an ancient city, and there's just so many layers and levels. Well, the king said it was duck to build a castle on the swamp. But I've built it all the same, just to show them. It sank into the swamp, so I built a second one. That sank into the swamp. True. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get them on camera, but we already got a couple of drive-by go ducks. <laughs> this is Pino de San Carlo, and it was built in 1737. the road to see this.
Hey, turn around, look behind you. What I really like about Naples is how they blend the new and the old. Like the shopping mall, for instance. We've been having fun getting lost in the back streets of the historical part of Naples. Centro Historico. Centro Historico. We need one of those. like the hat that I keep losing. <laughs> it just goes on forever. The murals, the murals around here are very intricate. Oh, the stories I can tell you about this guy. It's amazing how many bookstores there are around here. It, it's so... <laughs> you don't see them anymore. They're very rare. Amazon stuff, however, is everywhere. I haven't seen this many paper books since Cha Tu Chok Market in Thailand. This is the backside of Cha Tu Chok. It's all books and magazines. It's really cool. You know what time it is? It's kebab time. And falafel. So oh, good. Grazie. Thank you. Well, the gentleman that runs this delicious kebab stand was just telling us he's from the Kashmir region of Pakistan, like five kilometers from the border. So he's got family on both sides and they haven't got to see each other for a long time. And he's been uh, running this place in Naples for 17 years. And I will say he's got his craft Perfected. Delicious food, great price. Super Mario Kebab in the Centro Storico. Just can't say enough how awesome Naples is. Like, this is apparently the woodworking street. Get here, wander around without a map, and just get lost. It's amazing. Oh, there we go. Baby, they never gonna find me. I'm a renegade. These are called cornicello, cornicelli. They're giant red horns that look like red chili peppers. They're a symbol of Naples. They have been since ancient times, apparently, when they were fighting the devil. From what we can gather, it's a symbol of good luck, and they are definitely a symbol of Naples. So, you know, we had to get one. We can go insane. Trust me, I won't let you down. I won't let you down. When it was open, we'd see that. Torture. I was wondering why that place had skulls on it. We could have the world. We are in no danger of starving to death in this town. So I did a little bit of research and I decided not to do the underground uh, city because it didn't really speak to me and it has to speak to me. We could be as one and we'll escape. Okay, we gotta try a little bit more food. This place was out when we heard the other day. I'm getting that one. Supposed to be the best one in Naples. She's getting the veggie. A one gourmet, please, and one vegetarian. I know. Oh, no. okay. okay, so vegetarian is good? Vegetarian. They're out again, so we're just gonna get one. Yeah. Uh, Grazie. This is the vegetarian. She was out of everything else, because apparently this one has a different flower than the others. And for once, these are actually boiling hot. They had a lot of words. I think some of zucchini 
and I don't know the rest of them. I believe this is a tempura type of thing. Oh yeah, those are really good. What who saves you from this place? Baby, they ain't never gonna find. Who's even better than the fish? Okay, we're gonna munch on these and we might catch you later. And then we had a very interesting day going from Italy to America and back to Italy in just a couple of hours. We're going to the airport. We'll tell you why later. And this is where our military IDs come in handy. Now we're waiting for the free bus from the base to the other base where we're going to hopefully mail some stuff back. Trying to buy the base exchange in Naples, and well, you don't see that in the floor of every exchange. Check that out. Wow. Back on the base shuttle. So we went to the Navy base to do a little shopping, because you know, on the, well, we can't see that yet. We'll tell you where we're going next. <laughs> but we also shipped back to the States some of our winter clothes and some souvenirs, because it's a whole lot cheaper to go from the base than it is to do international shipping. And we got a lot of uh, food. Go figure. <laughs> now I'm waiting for the bus we have to pay for to go back to our hotel room. But it's still a whole lot cheaper than taking any other type of transport out to the base. Hola. <laughs> this is Martha. She has taken wonderful care of us in Naples. Hola, mucho gusto a todos. Es un placer haber conocido a los amigos Larry y Patty. Un saludo a mis familiares también. El Salvador y Merila. Martha is from El Salvador and it's been very nice to speak Spanish instead of Italian, which we do not know. <laughs> Gracias otra vez, amiga. Que le vaya bien. Gracias a ustedes. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Make the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>